Hey there YouTube, and welcome to Big Mike Beard Wisdom. So today, we're gonna to be talking about beards and how they kind of deal or in like the business situations. So let's say you're getting a new job and your job is something where before, maybe you could have a full beard and it didn't really matter. Or maybe you could have like piercings or tattoos or something like that. Now maybe you're constrained to a little bit more business etiquette. <laughs> So instead of having a big giant crazy beard, you gotta have something a little bit more refined. And then if you're dealing with people, you may even wanna have something a little bit more friendly. <laughs> so for me, I always like buzzing my hair. Now having a buzzed head can come across as maybe aggressive to some people, maybe not to others. It all kind of depends. But it's one thing to kind of consider if you're dealing with a lot of people. So I'm gonna do my standard buzz cut. And then we're going to trim down the beard just a little bit to help get it, you know, a little bit less crazy. <laughs> that way I'm able to get up in the morning, take a shower real quick, throw up some beard oil and some beard balm, and then head to work without any kind of little issues. So no need to worry about any kind of weird curls over here. It's going to be short enough that it'll mostly stay where it's supposed to. So the goal of today is to basically kind of take how I look now, which to me is relatively non-aggressive in any way, shape, or form. My hair is a little bit longer, it's a little fluffy, everything's pretty much nice and round. The beard's a little bit maybe long for a business situation, but what I'm hoping is that if I trim it down just a little bit shorter and I make sure it's got nice clean lines, that it winds up being perfectly acceptable for either me or anybody else. So real quick, basically, before we started, and it's pretty much standard protocol for me. <laughs> I always get a nice bag to catch all the hair that I clip into, and I just set it in the sink. That way, worst comes to worst, if I miss anything, I just take any of the extras. <laughs> That way, in case I miss anything, I just take the extra hair, push it towards the inside of the sink, and then rinse it down. And so far, we've been lucky. I haven't caused any clogs yet. <laughs> All right, so I did a quick buzz cut. And to some people, this may be a little bit more aggressive. It all kind of depends on, you know, maybe what your background is, maybe what your experiences in life are. But it's pretty simple. The only thing that I don't like at this stage is like having a big difference in the beard. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll use a couple different steps with the clippers and the guides that come with the clippers to help feather this in just a little bit. And then I'll go ahead and I'll trim the rest of it down just a little bit more. Pretty much got it feathered, got the sides trimmed down trim the bottom my chin just a little bit too just to make sure that all this looks better so all in all it's still kind of a very round face so not a very sharp look it's not a long beard it should be short enough that i should be able to just take a quick shower pop out and it look mostly in place <laughs> <clears throat> The mustache is just a little strong for the beard maybe, but it's a beard. <laughs> It'll grow out. Same thing for if you think you have a problem. So looking at it, it almost seems like I have a little bit of a longer section of hair in here versus over here. Could be a couple different things. Could be the light. Could be that I cut it funny. <laughs> so. If you think you made a mistake cutting your beard, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. The worst thing you could do is start grabbing a pair of clippers and really chasing it. Same thing with scissors. So if your mustache is a little crooked or a little lopsided or something like that, and you start going, well, a little bit here, up, a little bit there, up, 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 a little bit there, up, 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 <laughs> try to even it out. Just take it easy. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be kind of close. Same thing for if you're not proud of your beard. So a lot of people are like, well, I grow a patchy beard. I wouldn't worry about a patchy beard. I mean, it's your beard. So grow it if you want to grow it. 
You never know. It might be one of those things where once you grow it out long enough, it looks better. Kind of like my mustache. Because my mustache doesn't even connect. So because my mustache doesn't connect, it looks a little weird. Unless I have my mustache tucked down here. Then it looks like it's part of the beard. <laughs> Another handy trick that I'm, I don't know if I've talked about in the other beard or hair trimming things, is after you take a shower, this is nice and damp. It works wonderfully for catching any little pieces of hair. So whether it's the hair on the sink or on the floor, just use the towel real quick. And normally you can pick all of it up really fast. And so far, I haven't been yelled at about getting weird hair anywhere. So I'm pretty sure I'm pretty good with it. <laughs> And that either it all comes out in the washer or maybe it all comes out in the dryer. <laughs> all in all, kind of a big difference just because instead of being a little bit poofier, this is now trimmed down. And then this is only about a quarter inch longer than the rest of the beard is. So I still get a little bit of a chin extension, sort of, which I kind of like to help elongate my face. And I still get to like contemplate profoundly. <laughs> so I hate it when a beard's too short and you can't like, I can't think right. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll check you next time.